Alright, guys. I'm back in Wandering Waves. God damn it. <laughs> I forgot to off the notification. Anyway, we're gonna play. I'll, I'll let that uh, appear for now. So yeah, we're gonna play Zizi's story quest, companion story. <clears throat> I have like uh, one and a half hours, maybe two hours. So kind of a rush, but I don't think it's that long. So it should be fine. Rover, it's almost time for the dispute hearing. I... I still hope you'll come with me. I don't mean to burden you, but if you'd like to come, please meet me at the Public Security Bureau entrance. Oh, so I just come here and then <laughs> see she's over there. Alright then. Alright, let's So this story quest you already met her from the event. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> I didn't expect such a big crowd at the hearing. Mm. Sh should I take the stand myself? What do you think, little kitty? Ah, maybe we can do a little show of um pause. Raise your left paw if you think I should testify, <laughs> or your right paw if... W wait! You raised your left paw before I even finished my sentence! No, that doesn't count. Let's try again. Okay, if you raise your right paw, I'll... let someone else handle it. Hmm. Right paw, huh? Well... I did actually want to tell everyone the truth myself. Let's give this another shot. Is the voice different right now? Or Ms. Jia Jia, I forgot the already. hearing is about to start. If you would please join us. No? Y yes, Madam Jia. I I'll be there in a minute. Okay, here we are. Uh, Rover! Oh, you're here. It's, it's really nice to see you. And... I appreciate you coming. I just handed over all the evidence we gathered from Mingyang's studio and the exiles camp to the patroller. Now the Shenyun Art Exchange can't deny the fact they were producing and trading art forgeries. But there is one more thing. The patroller said we still <coughs> need art someone forgeries. to testify in the hearing. You can do this. Do you want me to testify? But, um, I'll be fine to do this myself. You've already helped me so much. Even just having you here is a huge relief. Some things I've got to face on my own. That said, I, uh, didn't, didn't expect there would be so many spectators coming to watch. If I get nervous and mess up any details, could you please help to remind me? Thank you. Having you here helps. More than you know. It's about time. We should probably go in, huh? <clears throat> well, that was quite sudden, I'll say. <laughs> uh, how do I say this? It wasn't quite explained what was going on. Okay. <clears throat> Straight With to the both point. Parties present. This hearing is now in session. Let us begin. First, a brief overview of the case before us. Miss Jeje alleges that the guilty party, Ming Yan, implicated in the tacit discord assault, was coerced art into fraud. committing oh. art fraud under duress. Therefore, 
Her mental state was adversely affected, which led to her committing actions contrary to her will. Today, based on new evidence provided by Miss Jeje and the result of this hearing, we will determine whether to revisit Minyan's charges and consider if the Shanyun Art Exchange is indeed guilty of selling illegal art forgeries. What? With all due respect, this doesn't match what we discussed before. Mr. Beitzer, I remind you that any evidence or arguments presented before and during the hearing are valid. If you would like to add further information, no, you're welcome to do so at any point. <laughs> now, without further ado, either party may begin their opening statement. Madame Julia, the, the situation is... Madame Julia. As the head of the Shanyuan Art Exchange, I, Beitzer, <coughs> must clear our name and seek justice here today. There are two points I'd like to address. Firstly, the authenticity of our artworks remains unimpeachable. Secondly, Ming Yan's provocative creations stem solely from her own greed and vanity. She alone should bear responsibility for the assault. Throughout my tenure at the Art Exchange, our foremost principle has been that of integrity, a well-known fact. And yet, integrity in business is not enough to stave off discord. We are aware of certain painters rejected by the Art Exchange, nursing grudges and resorting to threats. Uh... They bombarded us with spite and slander, causing a public uproar simply because they didn't get what they wanted. Should the public be swayed by these oh, slanderous shit. insinuations that paint us as wicked fraudsters, then I'm afraid justice will never be served. Please control yourself, Mr. Beitzer. <sighs> Forgive me, madam. But if this injustice persists, I will have no choice but to sue them for harming the Shan Yu and Art Exchange's reputation. They have damaged the trust we built with our clients. I demand they compensate us for our losses and issue a public apology. Such disgraceful behavior will not diminish us. Our principles will not waver, and we will protect the Shan Yuan Art Exchange from any ill intent. He's blaming the victim now, he's trying to change the topic. Uh, uh, I've bought paintings from Shan Yuan Art Exchange before. They were good quality, and their service was decent. Hard to believe they'd be involved in something like this. The honest always get the short end of the stick. But who's Minion? A painter? Never heard of him. <sighs> Must be some nobody trying to get attention using the Shan Yuan's name. Why is the art exchange always in the middle of some controversy? Order! Order! You may continue your statement. I... Uh... Uh -oh. Madam, allow us to present our account <laughs> of the events. And now we step in. Uh, I wanna, I wanna this all really began on. three days ago. I was entrusted to investigate a certain arcane artist in the Tiger's Maw. like a flashback now because I did not understand why are we suddenly in this <laughs> hey Grover took you long enough to get here <laughs> things are getting awfully strange around the mind uh, okay now it makes sense Figured so now it's a flashback to untangle this mess with your knack for <coughs> solving mysteries you'll 
figure this out in no time. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but there's a special folktale in Jinjo. Word has it, there's this mysterious arcane artist whose paintings come to life as they paint, as if each brushstroke has a life of its own. Once their canvas dries, nice whatever they've painted leaps right off what? the page. Mythical creatures, the whole shebang, all real as day. The thing is, anyone who might have seen these paintings, well, they vanish into thin air. I've never heard of such a unique forte. Lately, I've been receiving reports about eerie monsters wandering the mine at midnight. Some witnesses even ran into them more than once. These monsters, they look like paintings from a distance, but approach them, and they're as docile as can be. Reading these reports, I couldn't shake the tale of the arcane artist from my mind. Sure, some say it's just a prank or some new tacit discord fairy. But with rumors swirling, folks are getting jittery. Can't let things escalate. That's why I reached out to you. Great. Counting on you to crack this case wide open. Oh, and you might want to chat up the witnesses. Got the names right here for you. Okay. Interview the witnesses. So this is a flashback of this city. Ah, that's it for today. Time for a break. Oh, oh, you've come to the right guy. I was actually the first yes, to see yes. those weird things. I was playing chess with the old miners until midnight, then headed home alone. On my way back, I heard these strange moans like some kind of monster was out there. At first I thought they were tacit discords, and I was ready to bolt. But then, I realized they were different. These monsters, they were being drawn to some curiosity, got the better of me. So I took a step closer and saw that they had these strange features. Gleaming eyes, gnarled horns, <coughs> dark green bodies covered in slimy liquid. Uh, new fairy? Arctic, Arctic. Hmm, maybe. But unlike tacit discords, they didn't attack me. You know, I did okay. see some people standing nearby. Just some shadows, really, because it was so dim. The light was flickering in the wind, so I couldn't make out their faces. But I knew something was weird with the scrolls they had in their hands. Every time they moved, more monsters appeared. Later, I told everyone about it, and Gupon was there. She freaked out, Arcane saying it was artist. just like the tale of the arcane artist. I I'm not sure, but I overheard them talking. No, actually, arguing would be more accurate. Anyway, I got worried those monsters might attack me. So I bolted and didn't catch what they were arguing about. I do remember. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of going there, are you? Whatever those monsters are, they're unidentified and dangerous. If you have to go, be really careful, all right? It's the talk of the town right now. They've conducted several investigations and found that those monsters tend to appear around midnight. Their locations seem random, though. Fortunately, they haven't caused much harm. I think it's because they always show up and vanish in the dead of night. If you ask me, these monsters are a new type of tacit discord. That's what we see. Since but they're unrecorded, like they're our terminal can't trigger an alarm when they're nearby. For safety reasons, we have increased our patrols around the mine. Do you mean the mysterious painter who can bring fantastical creatures to life? Hmm, that could explain it. But a forte tied to painting is rare. Aside from the blurred silhouettes I saw that night, I remember hearing voices. I still don't know what Zerzi's powers are. Like I never tested her yet. So... The voices came from where those silhouettes were, but they sounded like... Vague muttering, thinking about it Doesn't now. Seem like if it was a human voice, how could someone get so close to those monsters without crying up? Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. So we're going there. I've gathered enough information. It's time to check the scene where those monsters were spotted. There's 
something ahead. That figure. That paintbrush. Paintbrush? Could it be? Is it Jesse? I don't know how you pronounce Jesse. Jesse. Recognizes. Oh. That's not a good sign. Nothing here. Huh. That's odd. Did I just imagine Yo. that? Like, yeah, but why is she like a ghost? <laughs> Rover, you're here. What were you doing? Sorry, did I scare you just now? That was scary. Eh? That was like a ghost. Yeah, why are you here? Finding inspiration. Uh huh. Right. The knife often sparks my creativity. You are the archaeologist. Yeah, it is her then. <laughs> of course not. Then? I I heard about the tale of the arcane artist and hoped to find out who they are. Hope to find Sorry out. I okay. lied to you. I just... I didn't want to drag anyone else into this. into ghost stories okay bringing painted creatures to life making fantasies real it sounds like a fairy tale but when the arcane artist first caught people's attention in Jinjo years ago it was more than just a tale now this story is making the rounds again most don't see the dangers it holds as someone who feels the threat I I want to uncover the truth before it's too late Yes, there was once an artist who could create paintings that felt so real, you could almost step into them. But these paintings, they strayed from the artist's original intentions and caused a lot of trouble. I don't know who's behind <clears throat> these latest events, but, but if it's, it's really her. the arcane artist, their paintings will bring nothing but trouble. Th that's why I... I have to stop them. To prevent the past from repeating itself. The past from repeating itself? What do you mean? Unfortunately, I'm not very good at investigating, so I haven't found any major clues yet. I'm here for the arcane artist, so but also hoping to meet an old acquaintance. This Maybe guy? he knows what happened in the mine. That guy that we are actually uh, suing? Is that so? Okay. Can we get a ZZ trial right now? Oh yeah. Was there actually some oh shit there was. There actually was someone. And it wasn't ZZ there. I do not have her, by the way. That's actually scary. <laughs> It looks like uh, a little bit like Zizi, but actually, no. That way, guide way. me. <sighs> Alright. Hey, Juju. Long time no see. You need more pigments already? N no, not yet. And this must be the rover. Nice to meet you. Heard a lot about you. Didn't realize you and Juju knew each other. Yeah. But I've never the had the chance to introduce me. myself properly. A great moment for it. Here's the thing, Rover. I can't say I know Jujur very well, 
But I do know she's got this quirk where her courage tends to crumble right when it's crunch time. So, when it comes to introducing herself to you, I bet money on it. She's been mentally rehearsing it for forever before she got the guts to take action. No, it's not like that. Judge, you can't keep avoiding things. You've got to take action or you'll never get what you want. You only live once, right? You'll know. That makes sense, I guess. Yes, Mr. Shilang is right. Rover, I've actually been meaning to tell you something. Hello, my name is Judge. We have met before, but I'd like to make this a formal uh. request. I would really like for us to become friends. Why do I feel like... Of course, um, I'd be happy to. Her voice acting is just like Yang Yang's. <laughs> Hello? Jojo? But she hasn't even hey, said what it. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I thought she said it. God damn it. I, that um, was only in her imagination. Okay. Oh, I can do this. So, in, in reality? Um, Rober. Rober? That was a pretty obvious slip of the tongue. <laughs> uh. Uh, um, nice to meet you. My name is Zhezhi. I'm a, a painter. I take art commissions and strive to create beautiful paintings. I... I'm not being very articulate. Mm. But That's I hope we is. can be friends. <laughs> How sweet. I must say, I've never seen Jujit this nervous since she first became one of my cherished patrons. Well, wait, Mr. Shilla. We're actually here today to talk about the tale of the arcane artist. Oh, <coughs> I know the tale, but I've never come across this mystical maestro myself. If such an artist truly existed, I'd be the first to know without a doubt. I supply ore to pigment manufacturers and sometimes serve as their sales proxy. So most painters in Jinjo come to my shop to buy pigments. Hmm, well, pigments aren't flying off the shelves these days. Just a few regulars, you know? Oh, but those ore buyers from a while back, they seemed a bit suspicious. They bought heaps of leftover ore, the cheapest type and told me not to let anyone know okay, that they sucks. got the ore here. People don't usually buy that stuff. Oh, wait. Jiju, didn't you buy some once? A long time ago, right? I remember you saying you couldn't afford the fancy pigments, so you made your own. That stuck with me. So when those guys asked for leftovers, I paid extra attention. Are you sure you can tell us this? I thought they asked you to keep it a secret. They turned out to be thieves who stole from me during the night. But when I found out, I reported the theft to the patrollers, and that was the end of it. Thieves don't deserve my business or respect. Of course, help yourself. Let's see it. All buyers, Yin Feng. Okay. Uh huh. <coughs> if this is the situation, she's yes. Oh, she's just here. What? what brings you here? It's been ages since we last met. The patrol station's been pretty busy lately, so I haven't had the time to catch up with you. And Chich is here too. Hiya! Do you remember me? We met at the Moon Chasing Festival. Again, she does that finger thing again. Oh, are you alright? 
You don't look well. Do you need help? Hello? No, it's not. Uh, no, thank you. The painting we had you do for us during the festival is awesome. Everyone loves it, so we put it up on the wall. Really? <laughs> I'm glad you all like it. We'd also like to invite you to our station, so we can formally thank you in person. Wait, how about coming to the station with me today? Are you heading back to the city? Uh, but we're still invested. I... Okay. Wait, we have a case to investigate. Investigate? About what? A new case? <clears throat> oh, I get it. In that case, it's probably not the best time for a get-together. Sorry. That's okay. Now just tell me if you need any help. Oh, I'm here to support the patrollers. There was an assault near the mine recently, and they're short on people to investigate. What's odd is those monsters haven't caused any more trouble since we got here. Right now, we're talking to witnesses and trying to figure out what triggered the incident. Hmm. Did something just happen over there? Don't tell me it's a tacit discord. Hold on, just got a message. Seems like they really are stirring up trouble again. I'm sorry. But I gotta go check this out. Sh should we go as well? Do we get a trial of Tuzi and Chisya? <laughs> you could be right. If there's a battle. But there's one other thing. There's one other thing? What? After Rover and I bumped into each other, we decided to investigate the surroundings oh, and follow so we, we Patroller don't even play Chisha through to this. the scene of the incident. Uh, this was just a uh, unflashback. <laughs> Back to the present. It was there we learned about the details of Mingyang's offense and the truth behind the tale of the arcane Mingyang's artist. Offense. Once Jojo has the paintbrush in her hand, she begins to speak calmly. She'll be fine making the statement on her own now. Oh, never mind. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I never tried that. Level 19. Oh, shit. This was, this is my first level 19. Well, I don't have any level 19. One nine three four. All right. That's a weapon. She is Glacio. Holy shit! Everything is full. Okay. I can actually use her anywhere. Or oh, just here. No, 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 no. Should I put Chisia in? But my Chisia is level 50. <laughs> I don't think I should. at the party just like that <coughs> sorry to trouble you thanks uh, wait uh, I haven't said why what I'm trying to say is if I had been clearer you wouldn't have had to explain things to Chisha for me uh. she's really nice it's just we're not that close, and I'm not sure how to respond to how friendly she is. I didn't want to be rude, so I... I couldn't bring myself to turn her down. I'll do my best not to trouble you, and express my feelings properly next time. Trouble, Thank huh? you. Okay, we get to use her, and... Interview Chisia and the research of oh. <coughs> 
Thanks for your help, Rover. We caught the culprit before anything worse could happen. We were lucky to have you here. According to the preliminary examination, we suspect that these tacit discords were agitated by the frequency fluctuations from a scroll painting found at the scene. Oh, it was from a scroll painting. The energy remaining in the painting was generated by its creator's forte, nearly overclocking. So it was a forte. But rest assured, we've calmed her down and contained the energy. She is the arcane artist, it is a forte. The painting needs to be thoroughly examined to identify its connection with the monsters and eliminate any potential risk it still poses. Thanks for all your help. We'll take it from here. She fessed up when I first started talking to her, but clammed up when I tried to dig deeper. Well, honestly, she seemed a bit off to me. Uh, but we don't have time for that now. We gotta clean up the scene and get the damage under control. We sure can. <clears throat> we need to ask the next one. Hmm. The scene comes to life. Is she the... Why? Minyan? Why are you... Uh, she is the artist, Minyan. Yes, we used to take painting lessons together. You! Uh, I... I, I didn't... So she's friends with Zizi, okay? I... Uh, I hurt them. It... It was a mistake. <laughs> I can see her paintbrushes, her uh, hair. I... I'm alone. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Thank goodness I wasn't hurt. It was so close. Part of it, I guess. I saw that painter. She looked like she was losing it. I'm talking shouting, waving her paintbrush around like she was sweeping the sky. I might be off here, but I swear those things on her scroll started squirming around before the whole swarm of monsters exploded out of thin air. They started to whack and thwack people all over the place. I was terrified and ran away as fast as my legs would take me. Not super clearly, but when I was running for my life, I heard her screaming at all those creatures all like, Stop! Don't do this! I think she might have been trying to stop them from hurting people. I see. <clears throat> so it's like her powers were supposed to attack the Tassidy Sparks, but they attacked attack the people instead. So it wasn't following what, what she wanted to do? Or something? Oh, my head. Oh, it hurts only a bit. It looked like she was arguing with someone right before the weird visions appeared. She was arguing with someone, not with... Uh, I heard stuff like, Don't stop me, I've, I've already won, and who doesn't want fame and fortune? Oh. Oh, that links to that guy, I guess. That's a good thing they caught that painter. Can't imagine what could have happened otherwise. But it's not her saying that, right? I don't think it's her. Well, I've met my fair share of artists, but none that would gamble with lives for the sake of their work? <laughs> That's a first for me. <coughs> oh, I didn't realize that she went to the painting already. That's strange. Uh, oh, you're back. figured it out already? They repeatedly describe witnessing bizarre, otherworldly visions. Created by the artist's forte. So, Minion channeled her forte into the painting, creating temporary phantasms. People saw her abilities and spread the rumor, believing she was the arcane artist from the tale. Tacit discourse were being drawn to a forte? Okay. The monsters described in the rumors were probably just exaggerated phantasms seen by scared people at night. <laughs> in fact, 
I had sensed something odd to mine, but after we met, I thought it was coming from you. Yeah, I so I didn't was, give it much attention. I thought it was her, but then we realized there was a mysterious other person, which I don't think it's her. Come to think of it now, it might have been Ming Yan's forte fluctuation. So she was there at the same time we were. I didn't even notice her presence. But what could have driven her to create such dangerous paintings? For personal gain, which I doesn't sound true, but maybe it is. We'll, we'll, I don't think so. From what I know of her, she doesn't mm -hmm. seem like someone who would take such risks for personal gain. She kept squeezing my hand and trying to tell me something, but I couldn't understand what she was saying. I think she wants me to continue the investigation. Maybe there's more to this story than I thought. Besides, I don't recall her having a forte before. She doesn't have one. Maybe this has something to do with me. Wait, what? Then, if you're up for it, I hope you can join me in the investigation. Consider it a formal invitation. This is invitation. why we joined the investigation. Okay. You want me to decide? To be honest, I haven't really thought it through. Hmm. I remember meeting Ming Yang in an art studio in Jinzhou before. I wonder if she kept going there after I left. Should that be our first stop? She may have left some of her artwork behind. That could be a good start. I've never tried to investigate anything, so I'm not sure if this is the way to go. <coughs> okay, let's go. <clears throat> right then. After learning about the details of the assault, we decided to push forward coming. with the investigation to get to the truth. Pointless! The witnesses on the scene made it clear that it was all because of Ming Yan's greedy ambition that she. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bye, Bai Chi is this guy's name. I haven't finished my statement, Mr. Bai Chi. Damn. <laughs> she's really focused when she's painting, huh? Alright, so we are playing the flashback basically. Oh, this is uh, this is interesting yes. actually. This is the art studio. My memory did serve me right. Looks like she's been painting here. Let's find the clues. Okay. <clears throat> Just open the door. <laughs> this paper. This white jade paper has a rich history. Its smooth, fine texture holds ink beautifully, exactly what you want for more delicate brushwork. Countless masterpieces, both old and new, were painted on this paper. Like China's Voyage to Yum Mountain and Ealing's Chishi's Dawn of Spring, both two good examples. Whoops, I got carried away. <coughs> Wait, there's a discount sticker on the wrapping, and it looks quite new. Yes. White Jade Hall runs a yearly sale. I attended it two days ago and bought paper with this same packaging. Ming Yang likely bought her paper there too. Half of the stock has already been used, which means she was painting day and night until the incident. Different papers result in different artistic effects. Real artists can always spot these differences and choose the right paper to showcase various styles. White Jade paper is my absolute favorite, but because it's so expensive, I can only afford to buy it when there's a special- I can't pass okay. up a great deal, so I stock up whenever I can. It usually takes a whole day to carry all the boxes home, but I must say, it's worth it! Buy three, get one free, buy five, get two free, and then there's the additional weekly coupons. I know everything there is okay. to know about the discounts. <laughs> we have the same painting style. And the quality of our finished works is remarkably similar. Even if we use different brush techniques, our similar styles mean we should finish a painting in about the same time. Once a painter holds a paintbrush in their hand, they won't stop until every detail meets their standards. 
it becomes an obsession. I guess this is true for most painter. Okay. There is a difference. The brushwork on this one, see how heavy it is? You can tell Ming Yang was in low spirits. And this one, the and strokes are light and fluid. Tell that tells me I she am. was happy when she painted this. Wow. The feelings a painter has during the process that of creation knows, often one. linger yes, in the brush strokes without them knowing. They're present in every line, even if yes. To me, painting is like a window into the heart of the artist. When words fail, these feelings can be depicted through brush strokes instead. It is strange though. She keeps reproducing the same painting over and anything. over, using techniques that aren't her usual style. Waters and mountains rest by the pain, valleys and peaks in the dream remain, colors of vanity washed away. The painted world fades. This artwork is titled Serenity of Xiehua Village. It captures the scenic landscape seen from the village mm -hmm. itself. Ah, the pigment! When did I get all my clothes? Oh. <laughs> huh? It came off with just a little white. Hmm. It shouldn't come off the fabric so easily. Okay. Looks like there's stains from ink and paint that have been washed out over time. Ming Yang could have improvised her clothing as a canvas for her ideas. I used to do this as well. Whenever nature inspired me and I was short on paper, I'd paint rough outlines onto my clothes. Okay. After all, fabric used to be a common art that. material. Besides, Using clothes does help to cease fleeting inspiration, don't you think? It's a shame the clothes are stained forever, but it's worth it to see how different inks behave on fabric. <clears throat> copying her paintings for over a year now? You mean copying Xerxes? My forte mirrors her closely. So she's recently got a forte there? Eh? Mr. Baicher uh, I can create practice to summon vivid illusions Why well, did copy these paintings for practice? Oh, she's cop- that's why she's copying the paintings She's- Okay But the choice of what and how was mine alone they want to buy them. I see. It is so much more. Hold up. Collaborate and hand over. Wow. Okay. That's uh... <clears throat> Why do my paintings and try to set these spots? How's her painting has none of these problems? So she's trying to follow Cersei then, isn't it? Can anyone help me? This is what I want to do. <coughs> I'm actually reading for once. <laughs> How could this happen? She hit a bottleneck. She's copying someone else's. What is Shen Picky about one's work is second nature to an artist. Yeah, that's normal. I'm no exception. There's never been a moment when I saw my <coughs> art outshining someone else's. I've always admired my fellow artists, hoping that one day I could be as good as them, perhaps even surpass them. I kept painting and improving, but no matter how hard I tried, I always felt it wasn't good enough. This needs to be refined. It's not quite there yet. Still short of perfect, will my client be disappointed? I had these kind of thoughts every day while I painted. It started creeping into my daily life too. It's true that one might find motivation in these thoughts, 
but they can also lead one astray. I felt trapped for ages until I finally figured out the path I ought to follow. Embrace my emotions fully and create the art my heart yearns for. This is of the greatest importance to me. But if I found myself in the same situation as Ming Yang, perhaps, perhaps I'd react similarly and lose my way. She was forced into this and was looking for a way out. I can't just turn a blind eye and let them charge her. There must be a way to uncover the truth and save her. <clears throat> hey, have a look at this. Seems like this pigment is homemade. But why are there herbs in it? Did she use a new recipe I'm not familiar with? Medicinal herb residue. She must have been making medicinal remedies recently. This must be the leftover residue she didn't get around to cleaning up. These herbs were used for medicine. Oh, so those plants I saw in the pharmacy weren't just for decoration. Uh, I've never tried myself. When I get sick, I usually just wait it out. My family always brought me remedies and soups. I never thought about how they were made. Sorry, I'm just not very experienced. Okay, I guess that's it. Oh, is there more? Oh, the vase, oh, the vase is broken. I think... Hmm... No, I might be wrong. Nothing. It's just a thought. I might be wrong. Just a thought, but uh, it's just a discussion. Then... I'll share it with you. The vase must have been on that cabinet, judging by where it fell. Makes sense. Duplicated the fee. Alright. Looks like the cabinet used to be over there, but something bumped into it. And that's why the vase got knocked over. Something bumped into it. I bet the water on the floor is from the fishbowl. Hmm. Huh. Why is that watermark in the shape of a gold puff? Ooh, it's a tested discord then. I figured it out. That must be the reason. <laughs> Rover will definitely be impressed with my deductive skills. Let me guess. We already know what's going on too. Out of the fishbowl, knocking over the vase and causing it to shatter on the floor. Then it landed on a pile of paintings. Realizing it was in trouble and afraid of getting scolded, it slipped out of the window. <laughs> Sorry, I need to improve my investigation skills. It's a logical Is that so? Just more often. Didn't, didn't say it's a negative thing. <clears throat> Was that your fault? Oh yes. These are phantasms I can create with my brush. They only exist for a short while. I haven't done this for a long time. I'm a bit rusty now. Yes, I rarely need to use my forte in daily life. When it comes to painting, I prefer the traditional <clears throat> way. It helps me to understand my progress and improve my skills. So I guess she and Minion have almost similar ability, but but I don't know. And similar. artwork created with Forte is indeed mesmerizing, nearly flawless. But that's not my goal. So I've used this ability less over time. Mm, she don't really use it. She used the normal. She just do normal ones. <laughs> but it's fine to use it for the investigation. Mm, yeah, you think, I'm pretty sure. Minya wants to be as good as her. Yes, it could be related to my forte. Oh, she's upset. Okay. Uh, 
because this side is so far. For something, we're trying to steal something. Yeah, it has Probably to be something that guy tied then. to Ming's paintings. That is by two, then. <laughs> However, we they were startled we... by something unexpected, and in their panic to escape through the window, collided with the cabinet, causing the vase to yeah, fall. That makes sense, yes. Oh, that was this a might be related too? to the Shang Yun art exchange and Ming Yan's breakdown. Let's follow these tracks and see where they lead. Studio led us to an exile's camp. There, we found new clues that pointed to a hidden player behind all of this. Did we get her again? No? Maybe in the camp? Um, why is there some mystery? Trolley is worn. Maybe it carried something very heavy. Could it be they transported or made pigments from them and then moved the pigments <coughs> elsewhere? Could the buyers Mr. Shirlong mentioned be the ones who stole the ore? I mean, you could just straight away. Scarlet thorn, indigoid, and other ore. These match the raw materials for pigments listed on Mr. Shirlong's transaction record. I took a look and noticed that these pigments were handcraft standard pigments adhere well and last a long time. But these makeshift pigments smear with the slightest touch. They are similar. Did she buy these low quality pigments from the exiles? But <coughs> why did these people break into her studio? It's almost done. Uh oh. Oh Who shit. Who are you? Exiles. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, we are. If it's her paintings you're after, why are you here? She... she wasn't in her studio, so we thought we could ask around. I see. Just wait for her here. When she leaves, it usually doesn't take long for her to return. I mean, she is uh, already somewhere else. Having... do you know her? Know her? We go way back. She's okay in our books. Right, no, she yeah. hasn't had the easiest run either. She helped us out a while back. She helped you guys? Guess you could call us friends. She even gifted us a painting. It's somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. We're no fancy connoisseurs, but even we can tell that girl can paint. I kind of like it myself. It's lively, right? Almost like you could touch the freedom and joy she felt painting it. Can't recall anything noteworthy. My guess? She's dabbling in some new secretive art piece. I spotted her taking oh, risky stabs at painting out in the wild. Well, now that you mention it, I do remember her talking about making art you could step into or whatever. But her little art excursion stirred up some unstable frequencies. We warned her, but did she listen? No? Nope. That's right, I saw her paintings myself. Tried to steer her clear, and what do I get? A lecture. Artists. <laughs> Always on their own wild wavelength, aren't they? Sorry to interrupt, but mind if I ask what you normally do for a living? <laughs> well... Us? Oh. The usual. A bit of hunting. Some gigs here and there. Just the everyday grind. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> 
you reminded me. We do make and sell pigments, occasionally. Oh, yeah. Really? Ming Yan buys from us often. We give her the lowest price, just as friends do. Okay. So, we are not, we're not fighting these guys, are we? Interesting. <clears throat> I have an idea. You want to say something? Yes. I think neither of these exiles nor Minion has told the truth. Oh. You think the exiles are lying and Minion also lying? I noticed some of the exiles' hands were blackened. The thought suddenly They're hit not me. Friends. What if it's from <laughs> constant exposure to ink? If so, they must be making a lot of pigments and ink sticks. Try to cover it. The painting they showed us and the artworks in the studio, they all match what Mingyang described in her diary. Her diary shows us she had major mood swings, which really affected her art. All these strange things started happening after the Shenyun Art Exchange got involved. Makes sense. <coughs> okay, so we're going to investigate again. Approach them again? Oh, okay, we are, we are approaching them, we're not just uh, sneaky investigating again. Yo guys, we want to talk again. I hear people talking. Enter combat, let's beat the truth out of them. Let's listen to them first. I, I, I would fight them, but I want to listen. Okay. I'll use my terminal to record it, just in case. Yeah, just in case. We can get we can get uh information for this trial or whatever. Listen in on them. Then we can choose the battle then. Yeah? Straight straight away. Oh Mr. Bites has stopped by again. Grumbling about the delay in getting Ming Yan's paintings to the Shan Yuan uh -huh. Art Exchange. If Yin Feng hadn't pushed her, she wouldn't have gotten hurt. Now she can't even paint, and our order is gonna be late. Yin Feng hadn't pushed her. Hey, watch yourself. I just did what I always do. Ah. Uh, that doesn't seem like friends to me. She's been rebellious and a bit too smart for her own good lately. I just wanted her to keep her head down and work. Who knew she'd crack and cause that mess? Luckily, I slipped away, and the patrollers didn't suspect me. No big deal. I pinned it all on Min yet, so we're in the clear. Someone was here earlier asking about her case. No patrollers, but do you think they could find out what we did? Uh... <laughs> Doubtful. They might notice we're making pigments here, but that's it. So they are making pigments here. It doesn't matter if they find out. We pose as exiles. And what doesn't an exile do? We pose as exiles? But we should be careful. Remember what Mr. Beitzer warned us about. Keep these things on the download. Ah, and if anyone finds out, they can't worse. be allowed to trace it back to the Shan Yuan Art Exchange. <clears throat> That's why we're suing the Shen Yun Art Exchange. Okay, makes sense now. Huh? So the Shen Yun Art Exchange has been involved in Ming Yan's case right from the start. No wonder they got all shifty when we brought up Ming Yan earlier. Masquerading as exiles. Yin Feng. It was his signature on Mr. Shizan's transaction record. When I asked him about the incident, he put all the blame on Ming Yan. Saying she had ulterior motives. I like how we're talking right here while these three are still there. The exiles we questioned during the day did the same. Trying to divert attention and cover up their own involvement at the scene in the first place. These distractions led us to concentrate solely on Ming Yan, ignoring other possible angles. I have a theory, but we need that batch of paintings they mentioned to test it. But there are so many more people in the camp now. How should we get in? No way. We we'll walk right in, disguise ourselves as exiles. Okay. We are? <laughs> okay. Are we gonna see this or? What? Hello? What? <laughs> Wait, we can jump. We can dash. What? Hold. 
this is we can actually play as an exile are you kidding me <laughs> oh this is cool they can actually in, we are in control and not uh, we are actually in control this should do the trick now let's see what information we can find inside the camp can we check no <laughs> This is so weird. What? Wait, we have to talk to this guy? Try to talk. Quiet. <sighs> Never thought I'd get worn out from something this light. They're just out of shape. You see me carry a hundred of those supplies in one go. All right, sure. <laughs> this is so. I mean, you can dash, right? <clears throat> mm, so the control painters. Oh. So Mia was not the only one. Sulian medium. Family wow. Mia needs shaking down. Fuyu needs closest support. Hi. Not on the watch this one now. Movement restricted. Under watch. Low. Give it three more days, mean to take them out. I guess if it's high means uh, hmm. low is the one that's uh, a little bit dangerous, huh? So Ming Yan and Ning Jing and Shan Chan, I guess they are the ones. Hmm. I can't believe the number of painters involved. They know where they all live too. Yeah, what do these rankings mean? I wonder why Mimi's paintings are labeled as low. Her skill is undeniable. Maybe it's cooperation issues. They're keeping tabs on all these artists, monitoring their every activity, even stepping in to control them if they step out of line. Judging from the list, it looks like they're still searching for artists to create forgeries. You might be next, is it? <laughs> You're an artist too. How did you not get uh, by the... Uh... Yeah, we can run. We don't need to walk. <laughs> Delivery record. Uh huh. This is their transactions. Okay, basically. These paintings are all fakes. I don't remember the real ones circulating the market. <sighs> okay, so they're they are selling fakes. Has this managed to be kept from the public for so long? They risk being exposed if they transport through ports. Not to mention the threats from the Shanyun Art Exchange. We should look for more clues. Okay, can actually just jump. You don't have to walk like a uh, normal PC. <laughs> Taste the recorded content. I want out of this. Oh. Okay. Impossible. We've never had anyone quit from a deal. Besides, you've already taken the money. Take back the money. You can have the money back. Yeah. Every penny of it. I just want out. Please. I won't make it difficult for you. You think we'll let you go just like that after seeing our entire operation? You know what? Could work something out. But it'll come at a small fee. Gotta have insurance. What do you want? A dead person tells no tales. <laughs> That's everything from our talk yesterday, boss. 
She's still holding her cards close. Keep an eye on her for now. Uh, if she tries anything, take her out. Understood. Yeah. they were talking about. There's still some leftover ink lying around. They're all from the list. This batch is all Serenity of Shehua Village. Ming Ming's work. These aren't just simple copies anymore. It's obvious now. She was working with them to create forgeries for her own gain. In the end, this is the path she chose. I, I suspected as much, though I couldn't quite... I mean, I wasn't sure until I saw the paintings myself. Wait, Wait. this painting! It's the Serenity of Xiaohua Village original, not a copy. Shouldn't it be at the studio? Oh, I see it now. This was the painting they stole from the studio. They stole and the copies then stayed. These copies, they're almost identical to the original, but there are some details, subtle ones, that reflect the artist's quirks, not just their technique. The painter copied them well. But if you look closely, you'll find that the finishings are a bit, um, more rigid in some areas. Well, that's because I... Don't tell me you drew this. Oh, shit. Look out! They tried to test it this point, huh? Again. <clears throat> well, this is gonna notify the exiles. Leap in. Hello. A new technique. What was that? Okay. <clears throat> no, no. I'm just catching my breath. But where did these tacit discords come from? Minyan's ability, I guess. Her emotions cause the painting's frequencies to fluctuate, yeah. attracting the monsters. But she's not even here. Her art. It's just, I'm not really sure why her mood is reacting to us. Oh. Maybe. Could it be oh. because I'm here? That makes sense. She did see what I could do with my resonance ability once. Ever since I saw her diary. I've been wondering. Maybe it was seeing my ability that inspired her to start creating those phantasms. Maybe that's why she began to lose herself in her art. It seems like all those accumulated emotions just... just burst out whenever we get close to her or one of her paintings. It's all my fault. Not your fault. But... more exiles from the art exchange. Are we gonna fight them or are we gonna go and disguise ourselves again? Oh no. Wait, we still using them? Oh, we have to leave. Can we just. without fighting? Watch out! Oh no. Surrender to. your stuff. A new technique! Ah! Yeah, we just have to fight them all. Yeah. 
10 deaths. Who exactly are you people? Yeah, that's you don't look like your patrollers. What do you want? If it's the paintings you're after, take as many as you want. You can always make new ones. Forcing people to make copies like a factory line? It's disrespecting the creator's dignity. Ah, uh, it's just a couple of stones and trees on a piece of paper for crying out loud. Even I could draw one with the flick of a wrist. Who cares if they're real or not? For the amount of paint and ink that goes into them, I'd even go so far as to say paying those painters 20 credits each is a ripoff. How could you measure the value of creation in such a way? Oh, so you're also here for the money. Look, name a figure. We'll pay double if it'll make you shut up. How does that sound? Take it and scram. That's not what I meant. Then what the hell do you want from me? I... I want to expose everything to the public. Aside from reporting you to the patrollers, I want to let the public know about all the forgery and smuggling you've been doing. The way you coerce the painters and, and put their lives at risk for profit? Hey, I'll expose it all. Say that. <clears throat> the courage to say is, that. is something wrong? Okay. Yeah. No, not a problem. I, I can't <clears throat> remain silent about this any longer. This is the only way more people can learn about the truth. Well, you better think this through. The Shenyuan Art Exchange is not a group you want to cross. It's a crime that you... I never on. painted for the Art Exchange's approval. If no one else dares to speak up, then... Then I'll be the one to do it. First, we keep these guys on close watch. Then, we need to catch them off guard. And the best way to do that is... <clears throat> so this is where uh, the new start. <laughs> well, that's quite the okay. story. So that's how we got At here. At best, this merely proves our involvement in the incident. Yet the real culprit remains unknown. Your accusations are groundless. Allow me to remind you. She was the one who created those paintings, insisted on selling them, and concocted the entire terrifying incident. Do you honestly believe her paintings would have earned a single penny without my intervention? No. Mr. Baizu, you're changing the subject. How ungrateful. She ensnared us in this debacle, and now you dare to lay the blame at our feet. But before we proceed, I wish to present this audio recording to the court. Yes, yes, the audio recording. Oh, Mr. Baitso stopped by again, grumbling about the delay in getting Ming Yang's paintings to the Shan Yuan Art Exchange. If Yin Feng hadn't pushed her, she wouldn't have gotten hurt. No. Now she can't even paint, <laughs> and our no. order is going to be late. She's been rebellious and a bit too smart for her own good lately. I just wanted her to keep her head down and work. Who knew she'd crack and cause that mess? Yeah, Ming was one. initially only making copies. Everything changed after you stepped in. Trickery, misinformation, and later on even threats. She was led down the path of forging artworks for you. I do understand that if her own heart hadn't wavered, none of this would have happened. But there was already no turning back by the time she wanted to quit. We have the other voice if you want to date that one. So, saying she was the mastermind behind it all, that's just not fair. 
Even so. How is forgery a valid accusation? Nothing like that was mentioned in your recording, now was it? We found evidence of forgeries being bought and sold. We found the original painting in the warehouse. We're both of these, I guess. This evidence clearly shows that these paintings are no ordinary copies, but your way of making a profit. <laughs> There's no such thing as real or fake paintings. You're not fooling anyone. What do you mean? For it to be forgery, there has to be another original artist. These paintings are all the work of Ming Yan. Even if she made dozens of identical copies, because it wouldn't be considered for forgery. Hmm. Mr. Baitsu, do you recognize this painting? <laughs> well, of course. It's Serenity of Shehua Village, the work of the arcane artist. Then can you tell the difference between this one and the others? Of course. This piece possesses a lifelike quality unmatched by any other, Ming all Yen thanks the to the resonance artist. ability of the arcane artist, Ming Yan. Resonance ability. However, judging from these paintings, it seems Ming Yang's ability never stabilized successfully. Except for this original piece. What does this have to do with anything? Do you have solid evidence to prove the differences between these paintings? Yes, Zizi can tell. What you're saying is all speculation. There's no guarantee a painter won't make mistakes, is there? Artists seeking perfection always choose the highest quality pigments for their most important pieces. During our investigation of the studio, I accidentally got paint on me and discovered something interesting about the materials mm. used in these paintings. The original paintings had pigments that were pure and brighter, able to blend more naturally and retain color for longer. In contrast, the forgeries used pigments made from mineral scraps. These don't hold up the same, smudging at the slightest touch. We can distinguish the real paintings from the fakes, simply by analyzing okay, the ink the used. Ink. Doing so only proves the so-called original painting is created differently from the others. Are you implying that Ming Yan is only allowed to use a single kind of pigment throughout her work? How is this supposed to prove that we are behind the forgeries? God damn it, this guy. Another argument. Because... The original creator of Serenity and Shehua Village is me. Damn. <coughs> I was trying to expect When I was that. a child, painting was the only way I could express myself freely. Everything I did and didn't understand, it all flowed through the tip of my paintbrush. All that I saw was within my paintings. Whatever I thought, I painted into reality. This power to turn fantasies into reality gradually caught the interest of many. Tales of the arcane artist spread far and wide. I took great joy in my skills improving. However, I discovered to my dismay that my parents were using my creations to turn a quick profit. Oh. They were sold at unbelievable prices. Some sought beauty in enchanted worlds, using the paintings as a distraction from reality. Others resorted to hellish nightmares to inflict torment upon those they desire. My own abilities had led my feelings astray. They were being exploited, and everything was spiraling out of control. After I realized this, I began to fear holding a brush. I tried to paint without relying on my abilities, That's why she but using her my parents scolded me for it. They called anything painted without using my abilities worthless. After the family business yeah. fell apart, my parents vanished without a trace. They may have left behind a considerable mess. 
But freedom has also been returned to my brush. That's why she stopped using her abilities. Xiehua Village was my first stop upon arriving in Jinzhou alone. Waters and mountains rest by the pain. Valleys and peaks and the dream remain. Colors of vanity washed away. The painted world fades, forgotten today. A poem I wrote, inscribed on serenity in Xiehua Village. I know it's not that well written, but it's proof of my decision to stop everything I was doing. And that painting? Well, it became the arcing artist's final piece of art. Ever since that day, paintings with special abilities gradually faded from everyone's minds. And... I never used my abilities to paint again. So she is the arcing artist. And she was denying it. Well, that was certainly <clears throat> a touching story. But I'm afraid your words alone won't be enough to prove you created this painting. God damn it, this guy. Madame Juyao, to prove my statement, I request your permission to use and paint with one of these copies. Granted. Has made me realize something. To create art that truly resonates, I must first accept myself. The paintings I drew in the past, they were heartfelt creations, pieces of my life. They formed my past and shaped who I am today. It's not just about proving a single painting, it's about so much more. If my forte is the cause behind all this, then I must take responsibility. I can't just let this go on and hurt others. So distorted. Spectacle is born from the mind. This place must be a manifestation of Ming Yang's mind when she created it. What? Wait, did you hear something? Yeah, there was a voice. Did you? What happened? I painted it exactly like hers. Uh, that voice. Why is everyone still praising her work? Damn. It's all right. It's okay. She's gone. Soon. I'll be an even better painter than she ever was. Whining X. Oh no. <laughs> of course, there would be a boss. It's you! I've already done everything I can! Why are you no better than me? Now we have the best way. Try not to use uh, Chang Li if possible. Artem failed. Okay, so that's not the boss. Yet.
Security Bureau ten minutes ago that they have taken the exiles into custody and found the location where the paintings were hidden. Mr. Beitzit, do you have anything else to add to your defense? Well. <clears throat> <laughs> Very well. We will 
Reevaluate Mingyang's charges, determine the Shanyun Art Exchange's involvement in the incident, and conduct a comprehensive investigation as soon as possible. This hearing is adjourned. Nice. Okay. Well, that what that did took one and a half hours. But I guess we have a bit more left. This case is over. Did I? Huh? No, not at all. I was just coming up with things to say as I went. My palms were sweating the whole time. I definitely couldn't have done it if you weren't there with me. Thinking about the feeling when we were investigating the case together is what kept me calm during the trial. What I meant to say is, back then, everything I said felt right. Like, I could just be myself around you. It felt so good to be that relaxed. Thank you for helping me through this. You... You helped me find the courage to believe in myself. Thanks to you, look at everything we accomplished. The Shenyun Art Exchange is undergoing investigation. It'll be the end of their businesses. And the painters they coerced are finally set free. Thank you. I haven't felt this happy in a long time. I went to pay Mingyang a visit. After all, she was involved in all of this, and I want to tell her everything. What do you think? All right, My condition started with her. Plus, yeah, you and I it. solved the case together. Why don't you come with me? Is the commission over? Yes. I already had it taken care of the day we found out the truth. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Quest complete, but visit Minyan is still is still there. So this is like <laughs> we kind of finished the story, but not quite. Huh? Like I said, you just have to visit Minyan, and this is the end of it. I mean, I could have just started popping. Okay. What happened to the music? Jaja? It's been a while. Your injuries. <laughs> the researchers have taken good care of me. A chat won't hurt. And you must be the rover. I heard about everything you did. Thank you for freeing me from those nightmares. You know what, Jaja? You may seem soft and gentle on the outside, but if your boundaries are crossed, I think you can be mm -hmm. tougher than anyone else. And I still owe you an apology. Forgive me, because I was so obsessed with wanting to be you, to be better than you. I've caused you so much trouble. The pain of these injuries managed to put a stop to my obsession with imitating your paintings. <laughs> Maybe I was never meant to be a painter to begin with. I don't see that. I brought you a gift. The scroll of painting. <laughs> see? Only you can create a painting with such life. I still have a long way to go. This is your painting. It's the one you gave me when we first met. I <laughs> how ironic. I've been trying to imitate you for so many years that now I can't even tell my own paintings apart anymore. Your paintings were never inferior to mine. Just look at this piece. Even you approve of its value. It doesn't matter who painted it. Mingyang, I hope you can find your true self, whoever she is. I know you can do it. Thank you for bringing me this painting. Mm. Really. Is that it? I think it's safe to say she'll give it some thought. During the few times 
me, Matt. She was always passionate about discussing art with me. I think that fire inside her won't just fade away. Come and think of it, the deep discussions we had at the painting mm -hmm. pools back then felt like true friendship. So, seeing her in so much pain, I just had to help. I don't want Ming Yang to lose hope and have someone who loves painting so much just disappear. To be honest, I didn't just see this case through to correct mistakes or help the artists. Deep down, I... I didn't want to let you down. I wanted to tell you this back at the mine, but the words just didn't come out right. Thank you for being my friend and helping me through all of this, Rover. While I have yet to uncover my past and who I am, every moment with you is a new and special memory. Thank you for your help, Jizha. This experience has helped me understand you and the world a little better. Uh -huh. You seem to be pretty slow on the news. <laughs> You've given me the courage to joke around. Hmm. Well, let's take it slow for now. Aww. Inspect the object. I guess it's the end of this story quest. Well, the, the story quest in here, it might seem short, <coughs> but wow, They're very interesting. Okay, I did say this, I would do a poll, but I don't really want to like go for this all in. I would, would want to save, but I will try to pull. Just attend pull maybe, just to see if we can get lucky early. This one, I don't think I want anything at the moment. We don't need this anymore. We have everyone. Weapon also I'm not gonna do. So yeah, I'm just gonna pull, do a 10 pull. And I have zero PTS eh, since I got Changli. I'm just gonna pull right now. <coughs> First 10 and this might be the only 10. <laughs> Let's see what we got. No wait, yeah, that's it. I guess we'll skip. Yeah, just one by zero. Okay. Or should I do it? I will be there for everyone <laughs> as we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. Why hesitate if you know what you want? I say C, but yeah, whatever. C three, sure. <laughs> Should I do another one? <clears throat> Maybe I'll do another one. Yeah, just make it twenty. Why not? Let's see if there's anything to sh exchange. Well, we can exchange two radian, right? Let's see. 20 pulls. Okay, I'll, I'll just do 20 pulls. Enough. Let's see. Okay, we're done. Dungeon. These are characters I don't build. <laughs> I will be there for everyone. 
as we head toward our shared future. Sometimes I get a little carried away in battles. I didn't Sweetie. startle you, did I? Oh shit, I might have to start building her then. <laughs> Dungeon really full, okay. Well, I think we're done for now. So, to be con... Not to, to be continued, but... Till the next version. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.